everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie 2. Uh, last episode, we started Mumbo's Mountain, got about halfway through it, and in this episode, we're gonna continue it. Oh my god, ball, 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 ow. That wasn't very nice of him. So, hope everyone enjoyed the very first episode. We're, this one, we're gonna try and get through Mumbo's Mountain, uh, keep kind of going through the progress, and then kind of hit Treasure Troll Cove. Camera is saying no to me right now. Real quick, we'll go, we'll go learn the Talon Trot, which super useful ability. It's actually the way I usually play this game is I always use it. We'll see how much I use it when we're playing, at least in the Let's Play, because it kind of can get annoying, at least the sound effect of it. Um, so I also really like how it kind of works in the Xbox version. Um, I still enjoyed it in the N64 because it used the Z button uh, to do that. So, you know, Jiggy, Jiggy number four. I probably should have waited on that. See, a lot of times you kind of want to get the Jiggies to appear and then kind of ignore them if you're going to go for a kind of a faster run through the game. Uh, because if, you can, if they're, you're in a level with transformations, actually the transformations help the gate uh, animations. So, it's to go a little faster. So. one. Look at that, already almost halfway. We got our Jinjo. We already have half the Jinjo. So like I said, this is a pretty quick level, most would know. Uh, get rid of the termites. I, I still swear these are ants. The game claims the termites. I claim they're ants. Uh, I don't really care what it tells me. And the googly eyes. Oh my god, the massacre of the googly eyes. Oh, I don't know this move yet, because it's right here. And the other really super useful move in the game is the Beak Bash, I think it's called, or Beak Buster, sorry. My bad. And basically, it just lets you do slam. It's basically Mario's Ground Pound. It's very much the equivalent. Uh, nothing, I think, too special, I guess, in its own rightful ways. I think Banjo-Kazooie's movesets are very more practical, at least the very first game. Um, oops. I think that uh, Tui is much more inventive with its moves, and I remember back then being like, oh, what are the new moves you're going to learn? It's honestly one of the things I'm really excited for ukulele for. So. There we go. That should be Jiggy number four. I think it's number four. No, it's number five. I'm just terrible at counting. Okay, we don't want to go to mountain moves yet. Get my notes here. And we still have to go down the side of the mountain yet with all the talent rod stuff, but I was actually going to wait uh, to get the termite to do that because he doesn't necessarily need the talent to do that, so. So here, it's just a lot of timing. If I could aim. There we go. I don't know why that one didn't work, but let's try again. Alright, we'll try shifting. There we go. And now it's just basis of timing. Something to note, do not get rid of this bottom one first, because you're going to need it to get this lovely empty honeycomb piece, which again is for uh, life upgrades. Oh, well, too soon. There we go. Give me my jiggy. Alright, jiggy number six. Alright, then I just want to come in here. Actually, I want to wait, because I think, yeah, I need to go get the other token real quick. To the token! Whee! Why does she do the splits when she jumps? I think we've seen what would be painful. Alright, then here, what you want to do... Not screw that up, like I keep doing. There you go. There is a Mumbo Token number 5. We can go up and we get the termite, which actually should let us get the rest of the jiggies in this place. Which is good. That's what we need to do. Let's get uh, most of the notes, I think, too, as well. So, save us time in that function. Oh, it's Mumbo. He was kind of creepy when I was younger. I also think it's kind of funny that his N64 model is pretty jagged, and then you look at his symbol, it's really smooth. And I also love when he's sped up that he actually is high pitch when he's normal, he's really low. I don't know, always found that funny. There's nothing up here, right? 
Didn't think I think it's just eggs, so we... Yeah, so I'm gonna ignore it. Okay. I said, I haven't played in a little bit, so... Alright! So, turn my banjo. Or ant banjo, as I used to call them. Alrighty then. So, first things first, let's go do the termite hill because it's kind of the point of this transformation. Then we'll go and do the other hills to be able to get the Jinjos that I need. I think I need one more Jinjo. I don't know, I make you track. Yeah. Eh. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Alright, go this way. And. Alright, start with the screw ups. It's like Mario. It's like Mario 74 all over again. So. I love me some N64 games. Luckily, we'll do some other systems in the future. I know uh, the two games right now are pretty much N64, along with uh, some newer consoles. Uh, I'm hoping to play some, go back to some PlayStation games going then, and if I could actually make this jump, I don't know why I'm not making it. I don't want to screw it up. I, what am I doing wrong there? I swear that's what I usually do. You come from the bottom and you go, there we go. I, mean, I don't know what I was doing wrong. That jump's always been tricky for me, at least that first one. Depth perception slightly off. Okay. That should be it for this mole hill. Or termite hill, sorry. Alright then, we'll go get our little extra guy here. Seven guys already. Heesh. Kind of blazing through it. Get a jiggy. Number seven. Nice thing about the termite, doesn't take fall damage, so we'll use him to get our last honeycomb piece of the level. Come down here. Get these lovely notes. I can't see at the moment. <laughs> and then we'll go up one side of the hill and back down, so. I choose this side first. Like I said, we're not really speed running, so. Doesn't really matter the order. Number six four, so we're about uh, what two thirds of the way through all the notes. This will put us through two thirds. Most of the cleanup should be on the side of these mountains here. So I'm trying to think where else I'm missing because I feel like I'm missing an area. Which seems odd, but seems odd to me that I am. As you know, right? See, and this is what I was talking about, where you don't have to deal with the dancing animation. So for like speed runs, you can kind of avoid it that way if you'd like. Uh, did I not go like up the side of this? Is that where I'm missing something? No, nothing that way. Oh, well, we'll go up the other side. We'll see what I'm missing over there. I do. I feel like I, I am missing a jiggy somewhere. Maybe I didn't break down one of the houses. I think through. I don't know if I did all of those. So. All right. I love the music. Yeah, small little trivia pack. From what I've heard, at least for this game. Uh, Grant the composer uh, for all the band and music games, um, had made something like 300 pieces for both Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie due to the long development cycle of uh, Banjo Kazooie, the original Banjo Kazooie. Um, and we get to see some of it in ukulele, which is cool. But man, 100. Oh, there you go, 100, 100 notes done. But uh, uh, 300 to 400 pieces of music is quite astounding. Um, for both, for, for just two games, and then for each to only use probably only 20 or 30 of them it is uh, quite impressive. Uh, yeah, I did. I missed some houses. That's what we did. So we'll turn back. I missed one house. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll go switch back and get our jiggy. So let's see here. Go banjo. Yay. I'll actually have to walk back in here because I think I have to go press the switch still. And then we have to be termite. Or, yeah, termite banjo when we get out. There it is. There's that jiggy. <laughs> the enemy in the background. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. He's just stuck in place. 
Uh, old games. Gotta love them. Hell, even new games do that, right? Alright, let's go visit Klongo again. Go this way. Eh, you can't touch me. Alright then. There we go. That time I did it properly, like I'm used to. And so this is the Grunt Switch, for those who don't know. There's ten in the game, and they usually unlock... Uh, or, oh, there's nine, actually, in the game. There's one in each world, and they unlock a puzzle piece out in Grunty's Lair, which is very useful. All right, so now we're going to turn back into Termite Banjo, and then we'll leave the world, because that should be everything, as I'll double-check when we get into Termite Bowser. I want to say Termite Bowser. That'd be an interesting transformation. Oh, uh, but turn my banjo. How? Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, tokens look so happy. So oddly happy. Alright, let's JC real quick. A few totals. Yep, not my best run of Mumba's Mountain. Anyways, t uh, 110, 10, 2, good. So far, doing so good. Alright. Let's get out of here. Click, 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 click. Even he has an annoying sound, like... Sounds like, what is that? Not fire crackling, but it's just like snap, snap, snap. Alrighty then. Oh, you can hear it clinging up here, so what you want to do is go up the mountain. Bam! And that's it for Mumbo's Mountain. So we have about five, what, five, six minutes left in the video. I'll probably get it, uh, open up Treasure Trove, go from there, and... We'll see how far. I don't know how much of Treasure Trove we'll touch, but... Alright, so... What kind of stops you from going this way, for those who really haven't played it, is when you run up, do the slippery slope, just kind of slides you down. So you kind of need the talent trot to uh, go up through this. And I kind of like that the overworld has that, where you, you need certain abilities to move on to the next area. So uh, so these are the note doors. This is what I was talking about, what kind of stopped me when I was younger. The fact that you need to collect a certain amount of notes to move through the door and unlock more of the overworld. So for this, you need 50 notes, at least for this. You'll see that we'll, we'll kind of destroy it if we go for 100%, which is, like I said, it's not too hard in this first game. Um, so the notes, pretty easy. Oh, and this is letting you know once you open up the door to a area, more baddies will appear in her lair, which it's not a big issue. Yay! I love that his nose kind of flexes when he bows. It's kind of funny. Oh, I'm not going to worry about you. We'll just make our guesses then. There we go. Search Roko. Pretty easy. Which is a nice pirate beach level. Which is kind of interesting. So Banjo does the typical tropes of having some of the themed levels. But then it doesn't. Which is, I think, what made it oddly charming for me when I was younger. Uh, let's go open up the... There's a pot down here. And a mumbo token, if I remember correctly. And these pots are useful for later in the game. As it lets you kind of teleport around the overworld. Which, like I said, isn't very useful until the very end. Or if you need time to 100% the, the place. As it lets you kind of zip around Grunty's lair pretty well. Just, uh, as you can see, Grunty's pretty uh, narcissistic. Um, has her lair looking like her. She's got pictures of herself everywhere. Very special kind of character. Alright, I think through here. Let's go down through this way first. We'll get the pot and the mumbo token. I think that's here. Yep. Now, I won't be collecting all the mumbo tokens because they don't really do anything. You don't need all of them to kind of beat the game. Plus, it doesn't really track them. Aha, I got him before he got me. Get the invincible feather. <laughs> it's 
not the invincibility power that you'll see later is it's, it's okay it's not a perfect ability and so just to kind of show where the note door is going to stop you like here you need 180 here we only have 100 so if you just beat treasure troll cove you can technically get through it pretty quickly but there are two worlds now available to us and the first is here like i said it's called treasure troll cove um and we have a little bit of time just to kind of start it here at least uh get some minor hiccups in it I love the, the music for this place. Apparently there is two new moves in this area, which is cool. All right, let's get this one. This one is very much the bane to most people's existence because of Snackers, is that his name? I can't remember. All right, dang it. All right, we'll get rid of you. The old fashioned way? Oh, how did that not get rid of you? All right, we got it. I can get away. I can get away. Woohoo! I did it. What is the? I've seen some mods for this game, at least for the like the N64 ROM, where you can get him up on the land and just kind of chase you around the level. It feels oddly funny to me. So something I need to look into a little bit more. There are Banjo Kazooie ROM hacks, very similar to uh, uh, Mario 74, which is something I'll have to do. Uh, because I, I do, I really like ROM hacks. I like what they, they kind of bring to the table. All right, is this Nippers? Yeah, let's take care of Nippers. Nippers actually can be a big pain in the butt because his first two kind of hits are pretty easy, but his third one is so close together, and Kazooie just doesn't like them. So, so to kind of get the timing here, just always just on the second one, and then always back up. There we go. Actually, wow, I can't believe I did that pretty pretty smoothly. Like I said, when you get the timing, it's pretty easy. All right. We'll get our one jiggy in here. We already got, what, ten notes almost? I think we'll have ten notes before we even... Yep. And to get rid of these little crabs, you just got to kind of ground pound. You can't really... You could circle into them. I wonder if that... If I remember correctly, they'll stay, flip them over. Maybe that's about it. Alrighty then, and I feel that uh, that's a pretty good area to stop, at least for episode two. So thank you everybody for watching Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Part Two. Hope you guys really enjoyed uh, at least seeing Mumbles Mountain and the new world that is Treasure Trove Cove. Uh, next episode we will spend the time finishing up uh, Treasure Trove Cove. So have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>